Lay down. Luna, you have to lay down. Now you have to stay there and be a good girl. Okay. Go now, Wes. Hi, my name is Leah Turley, and I am the director and editor for the Eugene O'Neill Project at the Alban Art Center. Um, so before we get started, um, on behalf of myself and the production team, the cast, the crew, everybody at the Alban, we wanted to take a second to kind of explain how we got here. So originally, I was slated to direct Long Day's Journey Into Night by Eugene O'Neill. We directed, or we cast the play, we had auditions, so we cast the play, we had a rehearsal schedule, all of that, and we began rehearsals in February. Uh, about two weeks into rehearsal, two of our cast members had some pretty big life-changing events that made it really clear that we were not going to be able to continue on in the way that we had hoped to produce that show. So the cool thing was we had so many people audition for Long Day's Journey Into Night, and it only has five people in the cast. We had so many people audition, I thought we could do something really interesting, similar to types of shows my company, Appalachian Artist Collective, has produced in the past. So we've produced the Tennessee Williams Project and the Twilight Zone, which were both selections of scenes from the works of playwrights and screenwriters. So um, Eugene O'Neill is my very favorite playwright. Um, so I, I was very familiar with his work and knew that we would essentially be able to put together a show that was a series of scene selections from three of Eugene O'Neill's Pulitzer Prize winning plays, which is Beyond the Horizon, um, Anna Christie, and Long Day's Journey and Tonight. My dog is working in the background. <laughs> anyway, so um, I knew we could get those three selections and that we could create a play out of that. So we had auditions, we cast the show, we had started read-throughs, and then it was the second week of March. And as everyone knows, the second week of March kind of changed life for all of us. Um, stay at home orders went into effect and essentially everything just stopped completely for a month. We did nothing. Uh, then it became clear that things were really gonna change very quickly. After that first month, I think myself and Adam and everyone at the Alban and the production team, we knew things were gonna be different. So um, Adam and I had a conversation where I said, okay, okay, okay. So what if we film the play? What if we do all of the same things we always did? The actors would do their blocking, production would still have the same jobs, scenic design, props, costumes, all of those things would stay the same, but we would add the element of a camera to follow them throughout the play. Um, and I knew in my brain what that looked like and I knew the system that would make the most sense to me I knew all of those things but I had legitimately no clue how to do any of that luckily Adam Bryan was able to figure out all of it and create this practical system that gave us the ability gave me the director the ability to show the audience what I wanted to wanted them to see and win um, so it was it was quite an interesting experience. Um, we had to go to Dramatist Play Service and ask for the filming rights of uh, Long Day's Journey and Tonight. The other two productions are in the public domain. Um, so we had to renegotiate contracts we've never negotiated before. Um, we had, now I think there's something like 150 feet of HDMI cable at the Alban, which we never needed before. There were a lot of things that we never needed before and had never even considered. But one thing is remarkably true, that when all of America was shut down and we were forced to stay home, Americans and West Virginians turned to artists. I mean, Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, on and on and on. Americans turned to art and it's a misconception that there is some magic portal in New York or LA or Chicago or DC or Miami that just kind of poops out remarkably talented and skilled artists and technicians. Incredibly skilled artists and technicians. Luna's coming in to say hello. 
incredibly skilled artists and technicians come from community and educational theaters like the Holman. So if you really valued and enjoyed all of the great entertainment that all of these platforms had to offer, then know that they come from places like this. And if you want the best art, then you want the best community theater. You want the best educational theater. And I am really proud to be a part of the Olven. Couple things you need to know real quick. We did the best we could to recreate a live theater experience for you. That means there are sound issues. Actors will drop lines. It is meant to be as close to a live experience as we could give you under these extraordinary circumstances. We've also given you the ability to jump around. You don't have to watch all three and a half hours. Believe me, I get it. Instead, you can go to what scenes you want to watch when. You can pick your own order. It's one of the really awesome things about being able to do theater in this way. So is it the theater I prefer? No. But it is pretty damn close. And that I am very proud of. So without further ado, sit back, relax, and hopefully enjoy the Eugene O'Neill Project. Looney, come here. You want to say hi? <laughs> look, Luna, look. Oh, you don't care. Watch the Eugene O'Neill Project.